Om Namah Shivaya students we have already completed the chapter body movements in the last video class i have discussed the question answers of body movements with you i hope students you all have completed writing the question answers of the chapter if you have still not completed please write the question answers as quickly as possible as i told you that other than the given questions in the exercise of the chapter body movements also prepare nicely the movements of all the type of animals which i have discussed in the video class if you will follow the video classes nicely and then you will read the chapter line by line then it will be easier for you to understand about the chapter today we will start a new chapter fiber to fabric this is chapter number 3 of your class 6 science in this chapter we will discuss about different type of clothes we will discuss about uh, fibers we will discuss about different type of fabrics also at first we will discuss about clothes people living in different parts of the world wear various kinds of clothes isn't it see i have given a few uh, pictures over here where we can see people are wearing different type of clothes depending upon the climate generally the clothes which we wear depends upon the climate isn't it suppose in the uh, summer season we all prefer uh very light clothes okay uh, and in the winter season we have to wear woolen clothes isn't it now not only climate clothes also depend on the culture when suppose according to the culture people choose their clothes suppose eastern clothes uh, means the clothes that the people of the eastern world wear is different from that of the western clothes isn't it so when we see a person wearing a particular type of cloth then from uh, from the dress we can understand about the culture as well as about uh, the living place of the person isn't it so we can identify a person's culture and living place from the clothes worn by him or her generally uh, they uh, they wear the type of clothes that that are used in their country or those are used in their culture okay materials of clothes all clothes are not made of same material this we all know just now i was discussing about the cotton clothes and the woolen clothes so here only see i have discussed about two materials other than that you all know many other names suppose silk clothes okay then uh, different type of syn um, synthetic clothes different type of synthetic clothes also we often use so materials of clothes are different from one another we can easily feel the difference of these materials by touching these clothes or fabrics so the clothes or the fabrics if we touch them if we feel their texture then only we can understand that whether it is made up of cotton or whether it is made up of jute or whether it is a silk cloth so we can feel the difference very easily a woolen sweater can easily be identified from a cotton saree by just touching it now in uh, in our day to day life we use different type of fabrics okay see uh, many fabrics are there means throughout the world different type of fabrics are being used i have given a few examples in this picture okay these all are different type of materials or fabrics which are different from each other okay pulling
making a thread from a fabric you can try this out at your home what you have to do you will take a small piece of cloth okay and then from one end of that piece of cloth try to pull out one thread see i have shown it in this picture try to pull out one thread out of the piece of cloth and then you will see that one thread is coming out and that is actually called the yarn so this is a type of uh, activity which you can try take a small piece of cloth try to take out a loose thread or yarn at one of the edges of the cloth so it is easier to pull out the thread from one edge from either this edge or this side like this if no loose yarns are visible you can gently pull out one thread with a pin or a needle but don't try to use that pin or needle alone if you have to pull out one thread from a piece of cloth by using a pin or a needle please do it under adults supervision okay now all fabrics are made up of yarns or threads actually many threads are used to make one piece of fabric or to make one piece of cloth see here also the yarns are coming out okay so i hope i am clear with this activity you can try it out it is very easy and read the chapter up to this line by line very soon i will send you the next video in which we will discuss about the rest of the chapter okay students om namah shivaya